In Creo Parametric, you can use the intersect command to create a curve at the intersection of two sketches. Let's take a look at how to do that. Here I am in a part model with two sketches. Let's go to the intersect command. And then in the dashboard, I'm going to change the type from surface to intersect sketches. And then for the first sketch, let's pick this one. And then for the second sketch, let's pick this one. You can see a preview of the feature. Then you can use the middle mouse button in order to complete the feature. And note that the original sketches that you used will automatically be hidden, but you can always unhide them. My most common use for intersecting sketches to create a new curve is in surfacing and also for creating sweeps. For example, I can go to the sweep command and then pick the curve. And then let's right mouse click and go into the sketcher. And then for the sketch, I am just going to use a circle, which I can get to from the right mouse button. Let me pick this and drag it out, middle mouse button. Let me use a diameter of 25. I want to make sure that this does not end up intersecting itself. So there you can see an example of the sweep. Let me hit the check mark. And there it is created using the intersect curve as the trajectory. Now, one thing to note about invoking the command, if you are in Creo 7 or earlier, the intersect command is going to be grayed out until you select your inputs, like selecting a sketch or selecting a surface. Because back when Wildfire first came out, there is this big emphasis on object action and action object for the different commands. It ended up being one of the things that really confused people. Back in the day, all the editing commands would be grayed out until you selected an input. But again, a few versions ago, they changed it. So if you're trying to get to intersect and you can't, hey, select your inputs first. Let's take a look at a second example. This is a really fun tool to play around with. Here I have two different circles. Let's go to intersect and then let's change the option to sketch and I will pick the first sketch and then pick the second sketch and hit the check mark. And in this situation, we end up with two potato chip shaped curves. But again, it created two separate curves in this particular scenario. And one more to take a look at. Let me go to my other model here where I've got the letters from my name. Once again, we can do the intersect and select the sketch option, select one of the sketches, select the other sketch, and you can get the preview. And if you're wondering how it ends up determining the intersection, well, let's take this sketch and we will extrude it. And I will extrude it a depth. Let's use a big number like 600. And I'll make it a little bit bigger. Let's do 800. Make sure everything fully intersects each other. And let's hit the middle mouse button. And then I will select the other sketch and then extrude from the middle mouse button, or excuse me, from the mini toolbar. And let's change this depth as well to 800. But I am going to go to the body options tab and create this as a new body and hit the check mark. And that way I can go to the Boolean operations in the body group and let's select one of the letters and then the other letter from the screen and then let's go to the intersect option and hit the check mark and well there you can see that the intersect curve and the intersected bodies have the same boundaries so that's how the intersect command works it essentially takes your two different sketches and then extrudes them and finds the intersection of those two bodies so there you have it that is how you can use the intersect command with sketches